The Lake Chad, which straddled Nigeria, Niger, Chad, and Cameroon, has for a long been a source of livelihood to about 17.4 million people. Now, climate change has caused the lake's water levels to fluctuate unpredictably, which affects access to natural resources like water, grazing land, fish stock, and vegetation. The surface area of the lake chart with about 25,000 square kilometers in the 60s has shrunk to 4,800 square kilometers in recent years. The United Nations Environment Program report says this is due to the climate change. There's increased heat reflection into the environment. That also is added with the current modern uh, increase in carbon. This increase in carbon are adduced from two reasons. That use of wood, use of fuel from nature indiscriminately increases the reduction of the vegetation cover, which is dangerous, and then it in increases the exposure of the land. The raising temperatures up to one and a half times faster than the global average and unsteady rains has created food insecurity. The carbon cloud emitted in mostly industrial Europe is also affecting Sub-Saharan Africa. And these are some of the major causes of some of the, uh, what you have, droughts, and what you have is increased heat and increased waves of the temperature. Hassan Mustafa is a fisherman. He has been in the business for years. He says the business is at a halt due to reduction of water levels as well as insurgency. In those days, we are the number one producers of uh, uh, tilapia fish across the state or the country, as I can say, uh, during and before the event of the insecurity. Now that the issue of the insecurity has existed, has still in existence, we, we, uh, we almost have nothing doing. The situation is worrisome, with temperatures going as high as 45 degrees Celsius. Agriculture, which accounts to the 23% of the country's GDP, may be jeopardized if measures are not put in place to address the shrinking lake. Jesse Tafida, TVC News, Maiduguri.